It's the same. Welcome back to my channel. My name is AC Kokui. I have a new video for you today. I am going to get into my little review of my hair that I got from BGM Girl Hair. So if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Uh, like this video, comment down below, all of that jazz. Let's head into the video. So I received this hair from BGM Girl. This is from another vlog that I'm not sure if I'm posting. <laughs> so I'm just gonna show you uh, me receiving the hair and how it looked like out of the box. It is so cute, it came curled, pre-curled before. So this is one of their new wigs that just came on the site and I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, I've been looking for an ash blonde wig that just like, is everything I've had one that was a perfect color but it was synthetic and I'm really into wearing more real hair just because it lasts longer I can get more bang for my buck and it's basically like I'm paying the same amount because I used to buy synthetic wigs every two weeks and switch it out right I do like the flexibility in that I don't have to stay with the style too long but I do enjoy real hair because I can do a lot more with it. I have a lot more time to experiment and all of those things. I got their new Ash Blonde 4613 Body Wave Highlight Wear Go 64 Lace Closure 180% Color Glueless Wig. So yes, this is a glueless wig. You don't need to glue it down. And let me show you. Um, as you can see when I put it on, at first, I needed to braid my hair, right? So I, I braided it down. It was braided already, but it wasn't as flat as it could be. So I braided it down and it looked great. It looked great for sure. It came with so many things in the box, as you can see, and the curls were amazing. So this is what you're seeing right now. Let's show. What you're seeing right now is day one, two, three, four, five. Day five. And yes, the curls have all dropped, but I wear my wigs pretty much daily. So I am one of those people that wear their wigs daily. This is my everyday hair for however long it lasts, right? And so the curls have dropped. Um, when I first got the wig, it was very, very soft. I mean, it still is soft. When, but I'm just explaining how it was when I first got it. It was soft and it was nice. I loved it. Um, and the curls were really tight, but I like combed it out or I brushed it out so you could, uh, I, I didn't want them that tight, right? And because of that and me like putting my fingers through the curls, they have dropped to this now, more of that beach wave look, which I don't mind. But I wanna kind of show how it can be revived and how I the curls can come back in or like at least some type of curl. So I'm gonna show you right now how that looks. So first I'm just gonna comb through and show you how it is combing through day five. So there is a little bit of a snag. There is a little bit of snag, but as soon as I get it out, it's like coming through water you know it's good and it's always going to be the nape the nape is where it gets the most tangled i believe that's what it's called the nape right <laughs> and so gotta get those get those snags out and once i do it's good and like with synthetic it would not have you know been okay after that So I love the color, like look at the color. I wasn't sure I wasn't gonna like, I was going to like the blend at first. I wanted ash blonde and I wanted it a little more ash than this. Um, I did want dark roots for sure, but I didn't really want all this brown in it. But I think it's a really nice mixture of brown. Like it's good, it blends in well, it blends in with the hair and makes it look a little more, um, natural than just like blonde right but i will say it doesn't look as much as the picture 
the picture doesn't get like it it looks more of a blend on the picture i would say so it doesn't really look like in the pictures i would say uh because there is a lot more brown at the bottom it shows more so how the top blends and not really how the bottom blends so just be aware there's more brown at the bottom which is fine if that's what you're looking for if you don't mind that um Get the nape on this side. You always start from the roots and comb down. Okay, you guys. And you see when you comb it, the ash blonde comes out a lot more because now it's blending in together more. It's doing the mix more. So this is it combed out. This is 28 inches, so it comes down all the way here. Love that. All right, I may do, you know, straight hair soon, but I still am loving curls. So let's get the curls back in. I'm going to go in with my hot comb first. And just like, you see all these bumps in here? Yeah, I wanna smooth those down. Probably from the prior curls that just caused the bumps. And, you know, I can get really lazy with wigs. I don't like having to do too much. That's why I get glueless wigs, y'all. That is why I get glueless wigs. It's heating up, so I can go in. And it takes heat well, I would say. I mean, usually BGM girl hairs take heat really well um this is my first time using heat on this hair i should probably use heat protectant but it's okay okay so the top is a lot more straight like i needed it to be and I'm gonna show you, I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but I wanna just show you how how it is with two different curls. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one. This is my Conair curler. <laughs> it's a pretty big curl that this makes. So we're gonna just see, oh, dang it. sorry. We're gonna see how it goes with this one. This is how, I didn't keep it in too long, but this is how the curl came out. And it curls pretty well. If I pin it, if I spray it, I'm sure the whole head would look cute as well. So that's one curl. I'm gonna show you how I curl it with the wand. So we're gonna go with the front. And again, like I say, you guys, I'm very lazy <laughs> when it comes to styling my hair. So even doing this right now is like not something I like to do often. I like to put curlers in it and keep it overnight. Yeah, no. But you, you could do both. You could do either or, whatever works for you. Ooh, look at that curl. That's a pretty curl. That's why I got a wand, y'all. I recently just got this. So good. It's another Conair one. Um, yeah, that wand curl is so lit. And I'm sure if I put the flexi rods in it, those curls would be nice too. So it picks up the curl really nice. 
I'm sure too, because of how like straight it got with the curls falling, it being straight, it would pick it up as well. It would pick it up really nicely. So that's what this looks like. I like the hair. Again, it's not as blended as it is in the pictures. I will be honest about that, but it is cute in its own right. Like, yeah, that curl just definitely fell because I didn't keep it in long, but it can hold the curl, I would say. And I kind of like those curls. So just something to keep track or keep in mind. And color wigs are going to shed. Like colored wigs, a lot of the time they're going to shed. So um, this is how much hair came out. It's not much, but just know like you are going to get some shedding. And it's not bad, but um, I would say most of the time my BGM girl hair does not shed like that, like ever. So I'm sure because it is a colored wig, it is going to shed a little bit more. But as you can see, it doesn't shed too much. Like I'm not doing too much and it's good. Like me running my hands through it, I got one. So yeah, that, that's it. I love the curl. Um, like I said, I'm not about to do my whole head right now. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys how it looks like, how the curls hold up in the hair and my review on it. I do like it a lot. So we're gonna keep this for a while. See how it goes. If you are, again, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, all that jazz. I make videos on beauty, on vlogs, my life in San Francisco, so many other things. We talk about pop culture, a bunch of stuff. So if you are interested, please subscribe down below. Comment on this video. Let me know what you think about this hair. Like this video, share it, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.